uh, request to approve R and D and authorize the city clerk to add a type of proposal. Got a motion and a second. Move to amend. Okay. Discussion, go ahead. Um, I provided uh, sent an email out there. One, but also provided uh, documentation. Uh, I have 13 or I think 11 final uh, recommended changes on this contract. Uh, and for historical and mayor, we may correct it in time, but you know, we got a draft um, of the RFP from Georgia from from a city that actually is utilizing the service of a, a provider that we're, we're we're in communication with. So correct. So, which is good because I mean, very rarely do you start from scratch from RFP. You usually get it from a provider. Um, so, but the onus on us to really nick down and specify what's right for our city, and that's what I've done. And uh, I, we have different policies on hard RFPs should be written, and that's 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 why we're you know that's why I have this proposal for different different these eleven different uh, things, which basically fall into um, stormwater inclusion, accountability safety and basically a link of service at that term and so you know I, what i like to do is go through each one one through third actually i guess one through five in here one through 13 and actually four is already moot so and again this proposal and i built upon one you initially started uh, mayor so i appreciate the initial hard work was basically I kind of base, uh, and it really wasn't on my side. We got that whole thing and started taking apart from it. So it's more, I mean, Rocky and, and John, especially John, has had more input on it than, than I did. Kind of following the process that we did when we actually did the RFP, like John and myself, um, which I think I actually did more work on that one when we privatized uh, sanitation. But yeah, and, and that's like I said, this, this is a lot more complex than a waste management or uh, uh, a trash garbage pickup uh, because this is more complex and since it has more services. And there's actually more regulatory guidance is required. So that's what when I when I look at the kind of four main efforts to, to include things that really help our city put this in an RFP that puts the city in a driver's seat more than a, the contractor uh, who's provided the draft to us. And so um, when we look at this, I like to go, you know, that's that's all we're that's all we're recommending these changes. So like number one, you know, I, I recommend we add the word stormwater in that paragraph. And uh, you know, I don't know, you know, and I'm fine with you know arguing each one or not arguing each one. Um, but I think um, I, I'm, and, but I think a lot of them are, you know, they're specific to our needs. And then when I when I talk to John, the same thing when you said John approved your RP one, he approves this just as just the same thing. But let's look it over again. Now there's confusion. You know, I say it's not confusion. Like, well, what are we, what's the link to this contract? Because the contract we're proposing is over for a five-year, almost six million dollar contract, and so we need to take a time to do this right, um, not haste to failure here. And, and, and like I said, the you the kind of quote used there is like when where the rubber meets the road is like well we need to make sure the road is what is right to pedal. So that's what these eleven things. And like I said, the accountability, the storm storm water, you know, it's these are based on my experience uh, working. Not only public work, but contracts for the last 22 years uh, with the military and state of the government here in Mississippi. So, um, just to let everybody know what we're talking about, y'all have no idea. Do you? <laughs> let me go ahead and tell what we're talking about. Uh, we have uh, probably for nine or 10 months, and I, I believe as a municipal or as administrative and a board responsibility, is we get a lot of ideas thrown our way. And I think we have a responsibility to look into. Some of you look at them five minutes out and you're gone. Okay, that's just not our fit, but hey, maybe five years from now it might be our fit. So anyway, this would be uh, the privatization of our public works department in large. Uh, we have uh, visited uh, other towns that do this. Uh, the RFP part of it is basically getting interested parties to come and get us information on what they could do and if that could be a possibility. So even as we get to this point, there's a thousand things that could kill it. And it'd be fine because if a resident came to me and said, well, why have y'all have however, well, we have looked into it. We didn't think it was a fit. Or this could be a great thing for us. Um, it is something that's a little harder to put your hands around, and it's a big thing. More people do privatize their sanitation than they do our public works as well. Uh, one plus two privatization is the same thing we've got with our sanitation is, you get us out of PERS, and, which is 17.4%, is 
So that's always a risk of that coming up. It can be a budget buster and health care insurance. Uh, private sector entities tend to get it cheaper than we do for some reason. I don't, don't know why, but it's been, been a, 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 I mean, our health care since I've been in office has uh, pretty much doubled over the last decade. And so when you go from, I'm trying to think of the number, if we go from, you know, four or 500,000 to a million, that's a big number for a, a city our size. And, and, and we're talking about a seven to $10 million budget, all of a sudden half a million dollars is gone. That's a big thing. So, so I appreciate the board having looked at anything that comes our way of this nature. Uh, Cause like I said, I think we need to be able to provide the, uh, provide the, the public with an answer if we can get into things. Uh, so uh, with that being said, now everybody knows. Um, yeah, I will say uh, the, uh, the amendment uh, to this, um, proposal um the report amendment um and i know everyone knows what i'm about to say but stormwater is a really big deal for me and i can't approve the original one because it just doesn't go into depth it does not specifically mention what it is we want um and how we're going to fix our city when it comes to stormwater and uh this little thing in my opinion is a little masterpiece because it is so clear about what we want um from these offers and wastewater um management is one of those things um drinking water is one of those things street maintenance is one of those things but in this one it makes it very clear that the restoration and maintenance of our our ditches and stormwater waterways are also one of those things and that they are just as important i, I think there's some confusion <clears throat> on what that rfp is um what we're trying to get from them uh, if we get too specific, as I've said in some of our conversations, uh, we get into a bid process as opposed to a proposal process. Uh, we want somebody to come in here and maybe there's a thing that we haven't thought of to give them flexibility and say, hey, here's how we would do it. This is not me telling them I need 100 foot of sewer pipe. This is say, saying, hey, I need to replace some sewer pipe. How would you do it? Uh, that kind of thing. I think a lot of the concerns are handled in the, uh, in the contract portion of this. So I think we've added some words, but not really added any depth from that standpoint, and still can control that from the uh, from the contract standpoint. Well, um, it, it goes from merely stating and drainage, which is as deep as Evelyn got into, to saying stormwater, open ditches, pipes, drains, closed ditches within city limits, water management, uh, stormwater maintenance. Um, goes on to talk about vegetation control and drainage improvements, and I could go on. Um, and I think that if we're not asking for, if we, we don't tell them what we want, we're not going to get the feedback that, that we need. I feel very comfortable with uh, the original uh, oversight from our attorney and our engineer from that standpoint. If I can ask a question just for clarification for the public's sake, you know, um, Yuri, you made the statement. That, that we did, don't need to hastily rush into something. It is, is, am I correct in, in understanding that? I mean, this this original document has been uh, worked on between our attorney, our engineer for, for weeks. Early, early, night. Okay. Yeah, it, so it's, it's not. It's not June one. And, right. and Craig, I, I would say that the original one is is sufficient. It definitely hits um, drinking water, streets, and sewage. Well, that's fine. I was but just it, wanting it to clarify something out. The, the statement kind of insinuated that this document showed up yesterday and we were hastily rushing into a room. That was, that was, I just wanted to clear that. Well, we received on Wednesday, so that when, when it was getting received from Georgia, and I, I don't want to overpaint the involvement of our lawyer and legal team, but if I said, um, I got it on June 1. And so, so um, that was it on June 1. He sent it to me on June 1. So I will say, and, and I appreciate him looking up for my corrections uh, overnight basically to allow but again he's just looking for legalities to make sure it's legal not whether it's the substance is what the city needs yeah and, and, and that's, that's where the engineer comes in yeah. and then i learned his john john is comfortable with this so I, he's, he's comfortable with it the concerns you guys have uh can be addressed during the contract phase and lord help us when we get there well the, uh, <laughs> probably so <laughs> um but uh, or them there are one or two things. If we include stormwater, just say stormwater, and draw our attention to that, will that not change, or at least add to the vision that it will not add clear water would? 
for an anything. I disagree. I strongly disagree. You know, I disagree with our attorney and our engineer. Now, let me anyway, ask you we've, we've got a motion on the floor. Steve, do you want to make any changes to your motion? I'm happy to listen to them and what Rocky and John just said. I'm happy with my with as it is. If, if I could, before we continue, um, I just want to make sure because we're about to vote on whether or not we go with this this one that clearly states that we are looking for this company to come in and fix the drain Any problem company. in the city. Not this company. Any company. Any company. Any company. And the other one merely says and drainage. Is that the final contract? No, that's not a final contract. That's not a final contract. I know we discussed this. Just like him, I lost too. When we start, I understand up. contracts. This is not a contract yet. Nothing in this is a contract. It's not binding. Exactly. Trying to make it specific and binding me. It's not until somebody signs a contract. And nobody's done that. We haven't even taken bids yet, Gerald. So if you guys are way overdoing this thing, and our attorneys, our engineers, and everybody so, else is so looking at it, okay? So are we requesting bids? Is that what we're no, doing no, right now? Requesting we're not requesting proposals. We're requesting, we're requesting proposals before we do the bids. So we're requesting proposals. Proposal. The original one has a good section on on the sewage has a good section that's on, not a contract i, I understand that but i want the proposals that come in to specifically address these things that we can do we can add that in the contract that's where it goes is there a reason why we wouldn't um go with the second contract yep yeah. there is a reason because the first one's approved and y'all just dropped this on the board on monday some late sunday monday and we know we just got a revision right now and those revisions were approved we're by the trees. We're killing trees up here. Approved, approved by the city engineer mm -hmm. and city clerk and Rocky. With the caveat that it really didn't add any substance to what we already have out there. Actually, it changed substantially. Mm -hmm. the budget. Apparent, apparently, and, too. And, but I've got a motion on the floor. And then I'd like to have a motion the, and a legal second. document um, so all after favor, five years. Uh, all in favor, if we can get hands raised. Right. a legal document. Uh, all opposed? And, opposed. It's a legal document. Rocky? I like his legal opinion. Is that the legal document? For it's a, a legal document. For a five year contract? Yeah. We all know you can't bind future boards. So and that's been repeated throughout. Yeah. It, it, the, 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 the RFP, not to belabor this, is to actually say they need to be prepared to enter into a five year contract. Not that we will do a five year contract. Usually you will do a 3 1 1, or even you could do a 2 1 1 1 uh, of that nature. So that's handled in the contract phase of this. Um, Every time I issued the city contract with City Pattysburg, City Pedal, uh, City of Meridian, any of those, they were five year contracts, every one of them. But there were five one year contracts. So, I don't know. That, but this, even if it's a five year contract, you can't bind boards because boards are only elected every two to four years. State, state law allows you to do 10. That's actually a change. It used to be six. So everybody used to do four twos or four one ones. But yeah, the next board can come I in on anything, that. sanitation, whatever, cancel it. Which come in, we could have sworn in last year and, and cut off all the paving that was going on. And we have the, the freedom to do that that part of it. Typically doesn't happen. We do inherit the sins of the past, as we often know. But uh, anyway, uh, number 14, uh, request to accept change order to Robert E. Russell Sports Complex parking lot improvements to include tennis, basketball.